Well, here's a story I bet you didn't expect to hear this week because I definitely didn't. But new reports have revealed that a woman has taken legal action against Prince Harry after she was catfished into believing they were engaged. Yes. You heard that right. Uh, I was under the impression that pretty much everyone knows that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are married, but here I am standing corrected. In case you weren't aware, the two married in 2018. They have a son together and a daughter is on the way. And they literally left the UK to start a new life together in the United States. We're all caught up on all of that, right? Well, one woman in India who happens to be a lawyer wasn't aware of all of this and she clearly wasn't one of the 30 million people who tuned in to watch Harry and Meghan's royal wedding. According to The Independent, Palvindakar alleged that she had been contacted by Prince Harry on social media and that he had told her he wanted to marry her. First red flag here. Harry has been completely off social media for over a year. His last post is from March of 2020 on his and Meghan's joint account, and he doesn't have any other public social media pages. But unfortunately, this woman was duped into thinking she was about to have her full-blown royal wedding moment. When their royal nuptials unsurprisingly never happened, Page Six reports that Palvindaka filed a plea in Haryana High Court seeking legal action, complaining that he hadn't fulfilled his promise. In her claims, she even says she sent messages to Prince Charles informing him of her son's engagement to her. So clearly she unfortunately was being catfished by more than one account. But this heartbroken woman didn't hold back with her legal action. In her plea, she called for the court to instruct police to arrest Prince Harry so they could wed without any further delay. Well, that's certainly one way to get someone's attention. Obviously, it was not Harry on the other side of those messages. And according to the woman, she only ever corresponded with Harry on social media, never in person. That's because he is happily married to Meghan and this was sadly an elaborate catfishing scheme. The Independent reported that her quote unquote Prince Harry was likely operating out of an internet cafe in India. Palvinda's plea was quickly dismissed by a judge who called the woman's story quote, nothing but just a daydreamer's fantasy about marrying Prince Harry. That was harsh, but accurate. According to the court, the catfisher who was pretending to be Prince Harry was likely also quote, looking for green pastures for himself. So the judge wasn't buying any of it and said, quote, this court finds no ground to entertain this petition and can only show its sympathy for the petitioner that she has believed such fake conversation to be true. Ouch. I think this is a good reminder not to trust or believe every message you receive on the internet, guys. It's very easy these days to make a profile that looks like just about anyone. So be careful out there. We don't want anyone else getting catfished. But if you want more on what's going down in the real Prince Harry's relationship, click right over here for another clever video then be sure to let me know what you think of this entire catfishing situation honestly i really can't believe it myself but let me know your thoughts in the comments section below i'm your host susan morad you can find me on tiktok at susan underscore morad i'll catch you later bye guys